Alien Cave. Hi, welcome back. Um, hello. Before we get started, I guess we'll let you know. Uh, we're playing Dangarapa 2, the first trial. We've played it before, a long time ago, like four years ago. Um, so we're going to try and do it from memory. We can't, of course. We'll get some help from chat. It'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, big nostalgia. Uh, a lot of a lot of people's first times with us with Dangarampa, so it's cool. It's cool. I don't think that I was here for the first trial of uh, this game. Of this game? I don't know that to be true. I just don't remember. Huh. A oh, 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 sorry. One second. Oh, Baruch. My okay. Ch my chat got all bonked. Bonked chat. So yeah, maybe we'll get some. Baruch. Uh, no. Um, so, not exactly a part one. Uh, there's going to be spoilers for the first section of the game. Someone dies, as is tradition. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I hope you know. Uh, like, you can still watch this and then play the game, and the game will be crazy. We're not going to play the, the full game, of course, uh, unless you guys really want to. Uh, but we're going to check out the first trial first, uh, and then we're going to check out this summer camp mode after that. I just wanted to, to kind of... Uh, you know, get I, back into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just so kind it's of. It's been like four years. It's a long <laughs> that's time. so many years. Yeah. Children have been born and are speaking right now. I would play a, a Dongan Rampa a year if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Dongan Rampa every yeah. year. Come on, Spike. Um. So yeah. Uh. That's about that. I I don't know. Does anyone else have any questions? Yeah, it was in like 2017, I think. Whoa. It's been 69 years. Hey, Yoshi, what up? Will you play Dongarampa S? Yep. After did this. you answer the door 12 minutes ago? Yeah, I did. Okay. My gosh. I know, right? Uh, Kodaka Studios team up with Spike Chunsoft for a new game. Cool. Still the save files? Yeah, we do. Hell yeah. Blessed be the Steam save cloud. Um, so I've already downloaded Summer Camp on Switch. I was going to grab like the whole Decadence bundle, but it wasn't available digitally, which was weird. So... Um, I was like, I really don't want to spend $30 on a game that I already own to only play the first trial again. So, so we're doing it here so instead. We're doing it on PC again, as is tradition. I'm going to um, play them thing. Good fun. Ooh. Simone, Simone Scarlet. Scarlet. Boop, 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 boop. Thanks for 17 months as a golden waffle. <laughs> and you used to have a bear in there. Ooh. A bear in there. Come on. Kuma. The V3 first trial? Maybe. Yeah. If enough people want to see it, we'll do it. As is tradition. Definitely going to check out Summer Camp before that, though, I believe. Summer Camp in winter Summer time. Camp. Yeah, right? How on brand. I'm going to play something before we get into it. Yeah, we're going to do the English voices. Danganronpa is how I first found you guys. The nostalgia is so real. Excited to relive this with the Niani commentary DLC. Ooh. <laughs> right? Fire woman! Uh, yeah, I didn't... I don't think I was... I was not talking if I was here. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it mean. I think we always played on mean. Uh... So I'm gonna need your guys' help with skills and which skills are good, because I, I don't remember. Well, it's first trial, so I mean. I mean, uh, how hard could it be? How hard could it be? Acceleration speed during logic dive, sure. Max speed during logic dive, hell yes. <laughs> you need to go, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Uh, <laughs> the old days turning of power? Yanny, the golden era of the Nyan Cave, some would say. No skill, dive right in, what? Uh, dummy erases all dummy panels. Now we'll keep that. Uh, influence gauge. Sure, I think that's what keeps us alive. Um, Reese's focus gauge. Oh. I became a member right before you all played this trial the first time around. It's been quite the chaotic adventure. Nice. You all are the best. Oh, no, you're the Who best. Who needs to sleep? Thank you. Uh, slightly increase the time limit for each space. Sure. Influence gauge recovery when correct answers are chosen. Sure. <laughs> no skills. We die like men. It's the yeah. first trial. We didn't have these skills before, did we? I, no, I don't think so. No, not I at all. I asked chat, I'm like, which skills? And chat's like, no skills. No skills. I already have no skills. Completely steadies your aim effective during nonstop debate. Sure. I'm really feeling it. 
first found you guys from this specific trial being live streamed, binged Ooh. all of the DR VODs, and even if I've been a bit inactive, still love ya. Lisa! Lisa! It's Thank you. It's totally cool. We're always here, so... I only watched that in the first trial. Whatever. You know where to find us, baby. What does the silencer do? It makes me quiet again. No, this is the silencer. Goodbye. Still waiting for Danganronpa 4, pouting face. <laughs> Movies! What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Logic diving into this. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend too long on this. Uh, Sure. We'll go with cheat code. I don't know if they have that. Uh, <laughs> ooh, a silent massage. I'm like, message? No, massage. Ooh. Hell yeah. Uh, handiwork. Reload two bullets at once. <laughs> Low combo, so increase the tempo. Oh. Apple friend Lexi. Hey. Welcome back to Dungan Rumpa. Hey. Thank you for 60 months. Six zero months as That's a golden pretty... waffle. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. This is all fine. This is good. We'll go with this. Is it supposed to be message? I don't know. Silent massage. Massage. Sounds... Ooh. Um, yeah, no, we're good. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's roll into it a little bit. Trial, all rise. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Thanks, Monokuma. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Who done it? If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... Uh, if you want, you can play a, a couple things. And also, I, I do want to say, um, do try to keep spoilers for the rest of the game at a minimum. Uh, we're just dealing with the first chapter of the game. So talk about that. But yeah, just to be respectful of other people who maybe are just being introduced to the game. Um, yeah. And this does contain spoilers for the first chapter of the game. There's like six or seven chapters. So, you know, uh, we're also going in like semi <laughs> not knowing what's going on because it's been four years. But it's been four years. We'll pick it up and you'll help us. This is Gundam. my favorite of the Danganronpa games. Good. Also, Hajime slash Fuyuiko best boys and Heko slash Hayayoko best girls. Yeah. Noah! I kind of have really fond memories of this, too. Yeah. What? Komaeda is the most interesting character to come out of the series? Uh, I think you mean Aegis V, ultimate lucky user. <laughs> Here, take this is my first time for seeing this game. Bemo Nap! Thanks. Bemo Nap! It's a good series. It's a really fun series. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Good stories. Really silly. Super anime. The most anime. I will punish everyone besides the Blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Such a cruel rule. I love Monami. It reminds me so much of uh, Amy Rose. Oh, yeah. Before we begin, Ooh. I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? That Bryce. <laughs> Most Was that Bryce? Definitely. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking it's, it's either, among you. Uh, Nagito or uh, Hajime. I can't remember. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Isn't it? By the way, this class trial is going to be 100% fair. There is the man. So there's no the need myth. to worry. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well... Not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Of course. <laughs> you hate me that much? Now, let's begin. Y you're telling us to begin. My queen. What are we supposed to do? No complaining. Not let's just lie, settle this better. with our fist. <laughs> yeah, who wore it better? You. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakia bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Swearing. Fucking suspect. I forgot he's a little sweary, Mary, isn't Baby he? Baby gangster. Baby gangster <laughs> saying f words. <laughs> I forgot about Byakuya. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Oh, sure thing, baby gangster. Huh? What does that mean? means what it sounds like it anyway, means 
why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Oh, I don't remember Terra Terra's voice body? being so... Ooh. It's very strange ooh. to find a body underneath the table. <laughs> if you if you told me to, like, imitate his voice just based on an image of him, I, I would have... I would have been like, Hi, I'm Terra Taru, baby! <laughs> Let's start with that mystery. <laughs> the reason why uh, Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table. You know, I was really glad that Byakuya died first because I didn't want to have to keep saying that name. It's Byakuya? Tough. Byakuya. Byakuya? Byakuya. Byakuya? <laughs> uh, we can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that, we dead. <laughs> no, thinking about if is a waste of time. As in the novel, if, oh. if. Hmm, waste of time. Waste you heard of time. It from Hajime, right there. Make your argument. Knife, Knife blood, blood stain, gaps. gaps in the floorboards. Uh, oh boy, this is going to be tough, actually. I don't even know the controls. Uh, Why was Byakuya's body? Uh oh. In a place like that. Uh oh. His body was underneath the table. Oh, Gundam. Ooh, I love the Gundam. Back of the dining hall. At the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they Byakuya. probably moved the body there. Probably go with the blood stain. Huh? Yeah. Why? Obviously, by hiding the body. How do I speed up? They tried to delay its discovery. I don't think you can the first time. Like a dog burying right? a bone. Oh, maybe. I would never speed up the first time. Huh? What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Why was Byakuya's body oh, yeah, in a sure. place like that? His body was underneath the table. His body was underneath the table. After the killer murdered, they probably moved the body there. God, I hope no, that's, that's right. Wrong. No, that's wrong! Oh, so great. Break. I think we're right. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Ooh. I don't think the killer moved the body. Also, full recap. Haven't seen the first chapter in four years. Trying to go by memory. It's kind of hard. Memory and context. <laughs> Even then, I'm like, uh. Huh? Why? Why? Sam Angel. Because Thank Sam you. Angel's here. That's why. Being what up? One of us. One of us. Thank Try you. I remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Look at a bookie over there just having a good time. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Not a hold on. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Oh, so dumb. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Oh. And I took that personal. <laughs> I respond better to praise, you know. What happens if you kill someone during the class trial, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens then? Because someone was just murdered. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Yakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? <laughs> Shit! Shit! Yakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown, and that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Well... Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. <laughs> what a prankster, that guy. Really, he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Surprise. <laughs> Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. Under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? Six lines in a row with someone saying under the table. Nice. The reason Byakuya dove under the table. Under the table. If it's connected to what Byakuya was doing. Ah, hello. Oh, oh God. I, oh, I didn't even get to read the thing. What happened? Oh, display problem. Uh, doing un, uh, during the party. Then it's probably uh, under the table. Under the play table. Thing. Maharu Hayoko Peko Mikona Kane Sonia Chiaki and Ibuki are all best girls. 
Yes, all of them. <gasps> Movies! All of them. Uh, the characters in this this game are, are really good. I like them all. I forgot about the eagle. Be that, careful. Like, that was in this trial. Face down, knife up. Uh, so, if it's connected, uh, uh, then it's probably... Did he have the knife? Oh. Imagine if Bayakua was the mastermind. Bayakuma. <laughs> Gabrius! Byakuma. Uh, so boop, boop, I, boop. I think it was the knife, because the, the tape, the knife was taped under the table, I think. Oh, and then fell. Yeah. Oh, well, he was trying to get it, but then oh, something oh. bad happened. Oh, something I think bad. He died. Because there's the, the tape on the thing and the thing. Um. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's try it. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a guess. If I get it wrong, check and tell us what it is. I can prove it with this. I can prove it with this. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Two, four, two. Two, two four, four, two. two. Knife? Oh, knife. you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon. <laughs> oh, Ibuki. I am the murder weapon. I remember that character in... Uh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Be our guest. I am the murder weapon. <laughs> Damn it, knife. Yaku, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, oh. that's not possible. Hello, Paco. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Oh, she brought receipts. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. Uh oh. Whoa. Knife, blood stain, gaps, AC timer, night vision. Night vision I think goggles. It was night vision. I kind of feel like it's the goggles as well. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands. Mr. Ham Hands! I've seen the killer take the knife. Oh. Uh. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. <laughs> of course you couldn't have. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Ba bam. Night vision goggles. I just couldn't do it. No, that's wrong. That's no, wrong. That's wrong. Brick. Mr. Ham. No. Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Because he had ham hands. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. I like. He could have seen what was happening. How they just have a picture of like real ass night vision yeah, goggles or something. <laughs> That's a, you can see the like Shutterstock logo on yeah. it still. <laughs> so, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> no, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Uh, what? What? Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. Dum dum dum. Rebuttal showdown. This is cool. I forget everything about this. Yeah. It's really, uh, I irons in the storage room. Dura Lumen case. Dura uh -oh. Lumen case. I don't know what any of these are, but let's, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, okay. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. Uh huh. That's gotta be it. Okay. Oh! Damn it! Oh, God. If you just use common sense, how does one cut? The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. You gotta cut. How cut? Cut more. Oh god, she's killing me! Hold on. Oh wait, that that's the that's the things.
Uh, overturn slash in the direction. Oh, arrow keys. Okay. Or I can use WASDA. Okay. The killer obviously used those nuts. That's gotta be it. Get fricked. Okay. Advance. Your poop that the killer used them? Because if they use knife stick, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Oh, no, you cut the wrong thing with the wrong knife. I found a hole in your argument. I'm not, you, unless you didn't. I, I might have done it right. I'm sure Byakuya brought the night vision goggles. I need to refute my hero's claim with evidence. Because oh, okay. Night vision goggles. Iron's in the storage room. Then they could have killed Byakuya. Ooh, cut, oh, cut, cut, yeah. In reality, so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. No, I guess it's knife. Is it knife? It must be knife. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even if, I mean, in reality, so those goggles were planned to kill or brought them to the crime scene. No, that's wrong. What? Oh, maybe I have to shoot it somehow. Hold on. Oh, no, that's F1. Um, Overturn is the right mouse button. Okay, so I cut them. Oh, Fire Truth Blade. Oh, select truth blade. Okay. Okay. I need truth blade. Uh, it, maybe it was eh, the Durlumen case. Uh, oh, shoot. Must cut. And then left click. Truth blade. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. No. Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. <laughs> I was pretty sure there was a tutorial. I'm pretty sure he talked like this. Definitely? But why? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party. He found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. <laughs> Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first Freaking place. Yoko is so great over there. Just <gasps> like... <gasps> wow! <laughs> I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there, too. Yeah, totally. It would be weird. Wouldn't it? It'd be kind of weird, weird, right, Annie? Aren't I? I am. It would Times be weird. Like this, it'd be so weird. I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Oh, my God. I forgot how weird he is. He, he, oh, my God. He's a pervert. <laughs> Carol. You totally mean that in a perverted way. Yeah, he's a pervert, Carol. The knife was brought in the Duralumin case along with the night vision goggles too. Two? No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I'm gonna play I some things. I should be able to prove it. Uh. You don't have a lot of time. <laughs> oh god, I don't. Yay. Perfect time for my subversary. Spacey hey, Sims! Hey, Spacey Sims! Thanks for subbing on yeah. Twitch for 23 months in total. I do want to talk about tonight's main dish though. <laughs> Can I talk about tonight's main dish? Yeah. Do they have funny lines for these? I can't remember. I can't stop thinking about tonight's main dish. <laughs> Is that what we're focusing on now? That's very, very interesting. interesting. <laughs> oh, another gross pervert. Let's just kick them both out. But whatever, who cares about the friggin' side dishes anyway? Oh, everyone's staring. Looks like I just made a fool of myself in front of everyone. The knife was brought in. No, that's not possible. We don't have a lot of time to choose. <laughs> Duct tape. I see. I see. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Put the duct tape on the table. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. King. Mm-hmm. This may be off topic. But why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Queen. Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. 
It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. <laughs> Jackie's blatant wife of bait. She meant to appeal to the game's target audience. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait. And there's nothing wrong with that. Wow. wow. <laughs> he probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Oh, Hyoko's uh, voice 2B? That's awesome. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? I love you. You think so too, right, Hajime? Uh, that's right. Byakuya probably never uh, knew there was a possibility that the murder. Byakuya probably knew that there was a possibility a murder would occur. Because we have a note that literally says, Oh, it's yeah, be a right. I I'm gonna kill you. Murder threat. That'll do it. <laughs> be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Uh, wait, I always do. I can prove oh, it I with it. this. I can prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Squidward! <laughs> it's me. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? <laughs> the only lies oh, I tell hands are friendly lies! <laughs> Those are still lies! <laughs> like... <laughs> you could <laughs> leave. But you could leave. That's But it's also, fine. it's kind of nice up here. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? <laughs> wow, who could he see probably that decided coming? decided to throw a party because of the letter. Oh, a murder threat. Time to party! Time <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? It's just a really weird invite to his party. <laughs> yes. He tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. All the music is super cryptic. Oh, I just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> murder on the dance floor. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Wouldn't want to have a panic at the disco. <laughs> in doing so... He tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. Just a fun little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Ah, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? Yeah, I see. His strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. The killer? Wow, the killer! The killer? Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Byakuya? <sighs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! Oh, okay. What, coward? I take that personally. It was me. I did it. I'm not a coward. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. Oh, but still, I can't believe it. Someone in this room killed ba Byakuya. And there's no way I can believe that. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? Anytime. Can, yes. Always. You're delight. Don't even ask. Just, just step out front. What is it, Miss Sonia? Oh God. Is that you, Clay? It is. Is that you right there? Oh. Where's God. your beanie, Clay? Oh, no. I regret that I must return <laughs> God, to this changing. topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. Bum, bum. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? I love Nakamura's bulge. It's so great. It's my right. favorite character. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife... The goggles. How did Byakuya see them? 
Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No. Can I play through? The killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer is able to get the knife from under the Last table. One. Hands. The fact you all can't remember the first trial makes this stream makes it much better. Especially Nyani who can't remember. Movies! Smiley face. Thank smiley you. face. Like, I remember who done it. But I don't remember who did it. I don't remember how or why. Was the mark. With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. <laughs> That's a smug That's little girl. You. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. I'm shocked she wasn't the first to go. <laughs> Which means it was you, Peko Peko Yama. <gasps> Music going off. Peko killed poor Bianca. Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> that was the motto for you. Not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> okay, I believe, I believe you. <laughs> but with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. That'd be the best. Roxas is accidentally in a class trial. Hey, guys. <laughs> I don't care about a technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pekka was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah! Ibuki just having a moment over there. This music's good! Terra Terra's account, Nekomaru's account, Chiaki's account. I don't know what their accounts are. Since Pekka was in the office... Wait, 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 wait. Do I have accounts? What are the accounts? What are the accounts? Okay, okay. yeah. Gas like, stove in the kitchen is powered by electricity. That's why Taro Taro couldn't use it during the blackout. Uh, when Chaki is standing guard outside, Fuyuhiko apparently came into the old building, then walked away. Uh, during the search for Byakuya after the blackout, Kazuichi headed straight to the office. He didn't see anyone there, including Pekko. Hmm. I don't know which one. She could have caused the blackout at any time! Oh, what's That's the difference with blue? Huh? Why is it impossible? Do I have instructions? Oh, no, that, that's that. Uh, uh, concentration. Oh, I can slow them down. Okay. Uh, weak spots. A uh, text may appear in yellow. Yeah. Um. Oh, blue is agree. Blue is consent. Oh. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Silencer, you can eliminate white noise. Uh, press the right mouse button. Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. Oh, shoot. What is Neko Mars? What happened to your guard, Judy? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Just listen to Pekko's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her, but I feel like I spoke to someone during the investigation who totally backs up her testimony. Okay. So then... Alright. I all want right. to agree with Pekko. Yeah. Uh, Nekomar kept trying to use the bathroom since before the party started, but someone was using it the whole time. He was able to enter the bathroom after <laughs> his body was discovered. Oh. He was going to take a shit! Right. Right. She could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Okay, okay, okay. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office, not even before the blackout. I agree with that. I agree with that? <laughs> no, Pekka was telling the truth. Oh shit, actually mm, correct. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. And yet it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. 
I've been trying to use it for many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Ah, uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive! <laughs> You'd just rather die. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? That guy probably raised in a locker room, 100%. actually. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was conceived during a workout. How about... We stop talking about this and move on to something else. Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. Oh. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. Oh my God. I, I said it's fine. <laughs> but still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Oh my Sir, god, no, oh my god, Sorry. no. Seriously, stop it. Stop <laughs> Get it. some help. But still, your stomach pain, was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? I want to play his game. What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Pecco's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. I'm gonna play a thing. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Drastically. Gabriel! Padoru Padoru Beach! Still can't believe it's been two years, 24 months in a row as a golden waffle, Gabriel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bathroom humor is always funny. <laughs> yeah. It's always Night. relatable. AC timer goggles. Embarrassing pose. pose. You gotta throw the eagle, Clay. I gotta throw the eagle. You gotta throw the eagle. Throw the eagle. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Did you eat anything now weird? You mention it. You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo Turo cooked the food, how suspicious! Oh, <laughs> how suspicious. I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Mm. Whether Peko's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it, we need to clarify that first. She won't wear my eat options. Anything weird? I, I guess party, party dishes, dishes, right? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the diet. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo Turo cooked the food houses. I wouldn't do anything like laxatives. Why aren't you guys using the Japanese voices? Why aren't you using the English oh. voices? What? I was wrong about something. I didn't put any laxatives in my dishes. <laughs> Looks like I made a mistake. I should have thought about this one more time. Did you eat oh, anything so weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, he brought food to the op just a little bit from the dining. There might have been some laxatives in it. Laxatives. Oh shit. No, that's wrong. No, no that's, that's wrong. wrong. 
What I did earlier. This is right. <laughs> no. It's impossible no. that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. No. No. No, the English videos are pretty good. Because a lot of people listen the to the only one who ate food. Akane ate some of it, too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Whoa! Oh, yeah, tell yeah. him. Let's just dismiss Echo's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Wow. Wow. <laughs> skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make clear how that blackout occurred. Once we stop talking about diarrhea. <laughs> Storage room tablecloth. Some accounts. Okay, okay. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Oh shit! So, wow. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. Hmm. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Oh. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Oh. I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! <laughs> 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 uh, I kind of want to hit the trashy skank one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I agree with that! <laughs> And how did they do it? Oh, wrong way. Uh, what are the irons? Because did they cause a power surge with that? Oh, oh 100%, yeah, one hundred percent. Well, that's the one. I'm gonna go. Uh, can't that. I'm gonna bop you on did they throw a stone and hit it? Answer, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Maybe they used a remote control. They probably. Bop it does not have to be. They may have tampered, or maybe they caused a. I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. Thanks for being a golden waffle. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. Uh, oh, I thought I could hit that one. My bad. Thank you, team. All right. Who tripped the breaker? If you can't answer that, did they throw a stone and hit Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with- It does not have to be- They may have tampered with the power supply, or maybe they caused a power surge? Boom. I agree with Consent. that. It's just as my Ruth said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Oh. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it. Intentional. Intentional. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? They should have just used like two AMD video cards. <laughs> so by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Wham, 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 wham. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Oh, God. Get Hi. Him. Hold on a second. Let me speak, too. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable. Oh. oh. Rebuttal showdown. Look at the size of that lad. Uh, AC timer. The irons in the storage room for the killer to turn the iron. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Advance! No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall were. If the irons caused the blackout. Cut. Allow me to cut through those words. Ooh! Allow me to cut through those words. Close. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. Oh, they take a mm -hmm. lot of power. Mm-hmm. The air conditioners! 
the timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m. Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. Air conditioners? I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? Indubitably? <laughs> They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. Yon, yon tranquilizers, so friend? Once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. Started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout indubitably. 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 Indubitably? Miss Sonia. Not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. <gasps> dun dun dun! <laughs> Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! Damn! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! Shut yeah. up, get him! Shut have up! I prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. Don't if we I all? Wasn't Regretti, the regretti spaghetti. I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. No matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. <laughs> oh well. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Oh, I forgot how crazy he was. There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, Hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Huh. Among us. Is that so? Among us. Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old Except building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Oh. This music is so huh? good. Even mm -hmm. though we have been arguing for so long? Oh my god, it's been like an hour. Fortunately, I know. It's the truth. It's the Despite truth. the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. The territory is like, let's talk about the shit again. But that might be in the dark. In the dark. I'm still no in the dark about the shit. Of us could be a killer. <laughs> you, you're changing your story again? Again. Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Wait, what? Have you just <laughs> considered being unalive? <laughs> no, you. Like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. <laughs> that's a little I can't sucks. stand this anymore. Oh. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. Me too! Please! Take me home already! <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy! <laughs> Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... 
I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm Everyone, gonna... calm down. I'm take my picture. <laughs> We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Yeah, right, Yanni. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? So Tom coming back? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. Oh shit! <laughs> I like the camera twirl into it. Like, it's, would really you good. say something? Oh, guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know, but we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. <laughs> then, care to tell me? What's this clue you're talking it about? Like Monomi was in <laughs> Mikan's hair for a second there, just like, ah! just hanging out. First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. No, we're not going to go over time. We're going to pick it up tomorrow if it's not quite done. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before? She asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they need to get close to the table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Here it is. Mm. Meat. Look, look at all those meat. Look at all those meat. Just Peco? <laughs> yeah, Peco. Chiaki? Okay. All windows are covered. AC, storage room, kitchen. Teru Teru? Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. I'm gonna play thing. Why is Edmund Dantes from Fate Slash Grand Order acting so strange today? So weird. <gasps> Suzu! Thank you, Suzu. I think that was like one of my only four star, five star characters. Got four account. You could sell it for like eight hundred dollars. <gasps> no way. No, I don't think so. Cheers, Susan. First, we can discuss how the killer was able to move to the table. I don't jump. know this Nogito guy, but he's voiced by Burst, so he seems Burst. like an okay guy to me, and nothing will ever go wrong. John, I <laughs> no. feel that that's accurate. I love what Burst. A, what, what a, Burst is my favorite voice actor. Ah, uh, the SSR you pulled that one night I streamed it. I thought so, Susan. I thought so. Thank you, John. Yes, we uh, during the FGO stream. That was one of the characters I got. Yeah. And we were we we're talking about the Danganronpa style. Burst. Killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Spot selection. Select a sus spot. Yaki was using the night vision goggles, right? And there's no way the killer could have used them. Oh, guess that's not what the killer used to move in the dark. Oops. Is it the knife? <laughs> is it glow in the dark? Duct tape was stuck on the table, right? But you're saying the killer used to move in the dark? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Wait, can I move? Uh, tape, tape, tablecloth, tape, table. How would the killer use the tablecloth in the dark? <laughs> Was, is it lamp? Here. It's lamp. It's I love lamp. lamp. I love lamp. Killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. I actually don't know what I mean. <laughs> there was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course, there's no way they could have used the desk lamp's light, but the killer actually used the power cord. The oh! Way to the, they didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? Power cord. They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. That's so clever. That's so clever! And there's only one person here who could have done that. <gasps> who? Who? The only person here who could have possibly done it. Select 
someone. Uh, I'm going to play a thing. Yeah. Have you seen the Nogito Doctor anniversary figure they put him in the Sands hallway? I bought it immediately when the pre-order was up. Cool. I uh, No, I don't think I've taken a Joe good look at it. Oh, Jackson. I sometimes browse uh, the Collector's Cave in Discord. Ooh. I don't think I saw it in there. <laughs> what? It's not me. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, I got two things, actually. One is. One's that. Crap! <laughs> Looks like I made a fool of myself. Um. Wait, can, I, can I access it from here? No, I can't. Oh. I can't remember if this is where we go from here. <laughs> I freaking love Nagito's like, hey guys! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> You're the only one! Oh shit! Oh, I was joking! Oh no! It was you, wasn't it? Oh, shit! <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'll be right back. Do it, Nanny. What? Do what? Do it! Do what? Do what? Play? I guess I'll play. Me? <laughs> Me? At least you got music now. I, okay, I guess I'll play it. Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! Ew. Oh, man. <laughs> That's just a coincidence! Did you do it? Yes. <laughs> Good. But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Nagito's chance to hide the knife on the table was, uh, when he was cleaning. I remember him cleaning. Yeah. He was a- I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? Oh! If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. Th that's- If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously, that's all just a coincidence. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... Ah, uh, yes, the coincidence. defense. <laughs> I wonder, is something like that even possible? Is it possible? Aren't She's you? sweet. I love her. Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. <gasps> to be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? Okay, out of all the people here... <gasps> isn't it? Nagito's the last person who need to rig it. <laughs> you're right. I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? <laughs> if that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it. Didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. The camera you zooms and pans? Gosh. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. Yeah, they did pretty good with what they had. Right? <laughs> Nagito, say something! 
Nag ich da Läuses. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> the ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. It's Kushi. Oh, God. Me. Those eyes. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. As if layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. Darkness. As if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. <gasps> I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. Knife. Table. Table knife. Table knife. The ultimate I'm weapon. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <laughs> and of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? <laughs> yeah. I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Lie? That's outrageous. There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm the ultimate worthless. <laughs> cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Wow. Holy crap! And the He's can begin. totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood cats! <laughs> oh. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. Huh? <laughs> We're the same. Actually, That's I see a lot of myself like the in hobby him. you have there. But like now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy, is he is he the real Nagito? Hey Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at. Right. Honestly, it would take some effort to write like I know, that. it's all straight lines. But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Byakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then, how about that old-looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. That is a massive air conditioner. In that case, uh, oh yeah, why don't you guard the castle in the office? No idea oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter 
along with all your suggestions. It was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> if that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. You take that back! You take that back! <laughs> There's power and luck. I believe There's his talent is ultimate baby, baby face. face. You're the ultimate baby face, right? <laughs> Why the hell are you looking at me? Do you want to sleep with the motherfucking fishes? Calm down, Hajime. Don't say unnecessary things just to pick a fight. <laughs> Everyone's staring. Looks like he's made a fool of myself in front of everyone. Nagito's talent. I believe his talent is... I just gotta know. You're the ultimate transporter, right? Of course! Then you obviously wear a red fundo- Oh, that's not his voice. Of course! Then you obviously wear a red fundoshi. What are you talking about? A real man wears a white fundoshi! Shut up, both of you! How'd you mean be more serious? I- I'm s Oh, I- I- Cause I guess like- uh, a transport in the way where they would hold those things they use in festivals and someone oh, sits in the thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think they wear fundoshis when they, they lift do. those. Yeah. Yeah, that, I was like, wait, what? I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? Do it all the time. It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky- oh wait. Student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. The opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. No, I, I totally remembered. I just liked the lines. I just wanted to see the, the incorrect Enough. text. That, I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despair it brings. No. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Get used to it. Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this site. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! Huh? The fuck? Um... How should I put this? Is <laughs> um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I already know that, but um, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Why are you so savage, child? I want Hyoko and Mean Girls. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? I think that Hyoko might have been driving that school bus. <laughs> we know who the killer is. Simply listening is... Acceptable. Acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Oh <laughs> You're so extra and I love it. Gosh, this song's so good. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's strange that... Can't believe the I ultimate so transporter, Nogito, was played by Jason Statham. Spubby! <laughs> Did those movies get a sequel? I can't he believe it. He has already confessed. Oh, there's... Oh, is that... Um, you know... 
That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. I assume it's the autopsy report. My guess is that it's going to be uh, Mikan's autopsy report. Let's see. No, no, never mind. Let's see Buki's account. There's a blackout. Are able to discern all the noise people are making? What? It's a blackout. Uh, hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Everyone stay calm. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. <laughs> uh -huh, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This is... Ow. Ow. I guess that's it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys, were oh? you just... Where, where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? He killed Biakio with a knife he hit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, you guys. Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch. <laughs> and let's go ahead and cast our votes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so oh good. god, I love that. I anyone who's on a dating yeah. profile, if you just don't connect with the person, <laughs> send them that voice line. Yeah. Thanks for wasting my, my time, you skanky, skanky bitch. bitch. <laughs> uh, I think it's strange that the killer is so mind. obviously Nagito. Um, he has already confessed. Uh, what was oh, Kazuhiro's account? OMG, we just built Aegis V as Mothman, but Mothman was always Nogito with the Max Luck build. Uh, we are Nogito. John! Amazing. Wow, I love being Nogito. It'd be so much fun playing uh, Kyoko's VA's bubs. No, oh, God. It's so fun. I want all of Tubi's lines replaced with Kyoko. <laughs> no, Kyoko lines. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakio with a knife he hit. Oh, oh. oh knife he hit. Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch. Are those the ones that give you special things when you shoot them? I, I don't know. I thought I could right click them. I, I can check the controls. I think it's strange. It must be she knows something that contradicts the crime scene. I think it's sorry. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, the right mouse button was the silencer, but it doesn't seem to be going off. Because uh, I don't think I fire a truth bullet at those ones. No, I don't think you do. Um, so the Buki's account is the so sound. Uh, Nekomaru. Oh, Nekomaru is the... Shit! Yeah, we use that. And the autopsy just says that Byakuya was stabbed. Which we could figure out. You know. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. Yeah. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikan? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. Based on the entry wounds on Yaki's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Quick, yeah, run. No. That better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! Ooh, wow! Spicy! <laughs> Her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm... I'm pretty sure that, like, if they did what Mahiro says... Oh, actually, wait, is this... Oops, I left that on way too strong. If they did what Mahiro says, like, they would die 
like a hundred times through the playthrough. I, I remember her like kind of like saying the wrong thing confidently so many times where it's like, yeah, they definitely did it. It's like, are, are you sure? So she's me. Hey, Naughty <laughs> Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? We, we didn't accidentally Nose. hold hands. After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Everything. Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Whoa! <laughs> get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? ADHD! Huh? Whose life is at stake? Huh? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. No, that's not wrong. it. What's not it? This. All of it. The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be. Dolly zooms, dolly zooms, I love them! There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. Ah, yes, Ibuki's account. I can prove it with this! Ooh! Mm. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? I'm so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How oh, everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Oh, you guys? Cry. Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hello? Hello? Is the breaker overloaded? Oh, hold on a sec. That's I'll go cool. along the wall and do something about it. No, I guess I can't. That's too bad. Hello? Hello? Where are you? Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. Jesus! <laughs> Do you think, like, someone, like, was making a Powerpuff Girl, but then accidentally dropped the burn book from <laughs> Mean Girls into it? Yeah. And that's what all of this is? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You got me deep with your knife of truth. <laughs> She's just like, <laughs> you're right. After hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark. What the hell? What's going on here? Ow. Th this is... Ow. Ow. It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Stop! Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent. I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. And he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Well, that sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Mahiru just like... I could interpret it like that. No, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Yakuya's body was lying under the table. Huh. Hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, 
it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened Most after that? Kids. Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! <laughs> What other word is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Are you right? Do your best and move forward. Are you Rising overripe? To the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Hey, avocado, I don't know how. Or can I eat you? Despair. Is Nagito really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? Or when, like, you squeeze it and it's soft and you think the avocado's right, but then you cut into it and it's all moldy and you're like, despair. Oh, despair. Absolute despair. You wait one day too long, avocado died. I'm going to play a thing. Yeah. <gasps> Zed. Zed! Thanks for being one of us, Zed! I like the name. Me too. Uh, the true alphabet. Zed. Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him, but this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now's not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Byakuya's killer by any means possible, because if we don't, we... We'll die here. We'll freaking die. <laughs> We're gonna die, We're bud. We're gonna die there, eh? Oh, oh trial suspended. suspended. Me too, though. Oh, I forgot about oh, these. Oh, these are so good. Well, now. Oh. Now then, oh. the class trial has reached its climax, but... Oh, wow. You're going to do Monokuma? Do you want to be Monokuma? Oh, because I don't think I can do Monomi. Okay, I'll be Monomi. Okay, here's a question for you. What's this? To those of you who have figured out who it is, how about you try the Guess the Killer Challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt away like butter. But if you guess right... I'll reward you with 10 billion waffles. Oh. 10 billion? Of course. For those who don't know who the killer is, you can just continue on. Well then, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I actually don't remember this at all. Me neither. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. You can't make a choice. There's no way you'd be able to guess who the killer is. <laughs> and of course, there's no 10 billion dollars either. You're so evil. Villain, you truly are a villain. Rip me, I believed. <laughs> Sebev. Sebevd. Mm. Look at this. Look at all these saves. Look at all these saves. How many? Yeah. How too, many? Too many. Wow. I don't know why. Day I don't know what happened. Does anyone remember what happened where I saved a hundred times <laughs> in the span of like 10 <laughs> seconds? Was I doing it like just a spite or something? Or was it a bit? I don't uh, even you, know. I think you were saving over all your old saves. Oh, yeah, I might have. Um, But yeah, it looks like we stopped playing. Yeah, look at the dates. Yeah. August uh, 27th. August 22nd. Uh, 20, no, September 22nd. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Where you see? Oh, August 27th down there. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Mona me. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. Okie dokie. The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed. And his killer is among this group of students? Students? No, nope. I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. Because I believe in everyone. Aw, me too. Crystal says, I believe you did it to make Tom upset. And I actually remember doing that now. <laughs> I remember him saying some offhand comment like, how many saves do you need? And I was like, I need all of these saves, Tom. And then I... Bah, 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 that, that sounds I, That accurate. sounds right. <laughs> sounds right. Oh. So do your best. And don't forget to save regularly. 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 Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that! Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? Right. 
I have a shove mark That's on my butt. Right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks, you know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. The male experience in a nutshell. Oh. I'm not talking about your looks. What does Mikan think Nagito looks clean? I see! I see. None of them very funny. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any bloodstains on him? Yes! Th that's it! Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even bloodstains on the inside of the tablecloth. The mess. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, Strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? How lucky. All of the blood magically missed me. <laughs> something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Yes, there's only one thing he could have used to block the blood spatter. Ah. Fargo, thanks for being one of us! Fool your gang! Woo! Hey! Woo! Oh. oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow. That is delicious. Finally. Some good fucking food. <laughs> Thanks, Arco. It's crazy to think about how different 2017 was from 2021. Right? I hope you all will still be streaming in four more years. Ooh, Even if not, we love you. Catherine! Oh, oh, shoot, didn't want to do that. I hope so, too. Crap! You get it! Something that might have been... Hmm. I, didn't mean to I guess that. we Thank did you, see... Was it the tablecloth? I think the tablecloth, yeah. Uh, storage oh, room tablecloth. Table I can prove it with this. Yeah, four years. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? Post. That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, hitting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Th then, what does it mean? Yes, what Maybe does it mean? the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. So, there's no denying... Byakuya was too thin. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! <laughs> I don't have a clue what's happening! The Me too. Where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. Huh? You... you look like you're onto something. It's under the under the table. But it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but... Still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, 
we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. I think. The place where Byakuya got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should put aside my preconceptions and try to think about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Right? Something. Something is coming to me. It's this message. Higher. Just got here. I didn't Seeing how far we are, is this trial gonna be a two stream situation or? Uh, yeah. Angry. Probably. We're gonna do this tomorrow and then we'll pick up uh, summer camp after. <gasps> oh, oh, the yeah. meat! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, how does this work again? Well, oh, I can't get to the... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Move cursor, catch, release, explode. Oh, is right. Okay. Uh, Left mouse button, letter explosion, sends to keyword. I think you want a, a, a left mouse cursor button. Cursor special move? Oh, whoa! Oh, right, they collide. Right, 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 right. Oh, shit. Wait, now those two collide? And then... Yeah. Oh! Oh, whoa. Oh, wait. Can I... Ah. Ah, Oh, it's shoot. I, I exploded them. Okay. <laughs> Un... How do I, like, get rid of them? I don't want them. Un... I'm looking for the D! Ugh, me. Oh, there they are. There it is. Und... Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Everything's better now <laughs> that it's wetter. Take, Take it from me. Mahiru. Not that I killed anyone. Under... Under the knife. We're gonna be playing um under the knife. What? Yeah. Trauma Center, under the knife. That's what this is about, right? Yes. Oh no. Under the food. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Under the flood. Yes. Under the floor. I got it. Does it mean we can spoil? No. Like, don't talk about uh, anything in the other chapters, especially, uh, and try and talk about anything that hasn't got happened it. yet. Just for people who haven't seen it. They might be enjoying it. From under the floorboards. I mean, we know what's happening, but it's still fun. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. Under the table? If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? And how? And how? Know. But... I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. That's right. If I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. It's Tiny Child, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I actually have no idea, so let's go with it. Crap! Wait, hold on. Am I sure it's this person? I should think again. Ah, oh, crap. Well, it's not Tiny Child. Nope. Other Tiny Child? Start pointing fingers at people, I guess. Person next to Hyoko? Oh, it's me! I did it! That's right! It was me! Huh? Wait, no, that's not possible! <laughs> ah, yes. You're the only one! Of course. Because hamsters. Hey, Gundam. You dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the Hellhound earring? <gasps> oh. About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? Ah, 
There it is. I found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring! <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how did I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Yes. To me. Is it Piccolo? That earring is the one hanging from your right ear. Hajime kind of sounds like someone from Dragon Ball as well. Huh? Could it be? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began... And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his hearing from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. Easy three. True. This is the evil <laughs> fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. <laughs> You're cringe, bro. Why are you so fucking cringe? Man up and speak more clearly. Fine. I shall tell oh, you there they are. all. The answer was in the storage room. Behind the red bar. Oh! oh. Oh! My four oh. dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, Jumpy, seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. Guess which one is Jumpy? <laughs> I'll give you one guess. One guess? One guess. It's the sleeping one. Oh, you're right. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. Weird. My dad also went for a lighter from the supermarket. <laughs> and as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the hellhound earring with my own two hands. <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! Yoko on the side, just like, oh, it's so stupid, it's so stupid. It's, it's, oh my god, it's like the dumbest thing I've ever freaking heard. There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know? Oh, wow. It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? You don't like Stab! Stab! Stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... <laughs> I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness. Yes! This Monami over here is your witness! <laughs> I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. But... I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um... The only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... Obviously has to be him. Mikan looking super sus over there. Yeah. She's like, I hope I don't fall and get food in my wahoo. <laughs> Yay! 
Hey, it's decided! What? what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! Oh, shit. See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Make your argument. Boots account, Terra Terra's account, Jack's account. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. Mm. And they could have stared at panties all day. Oh, God. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Wait, what? Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Yes. Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know? You know? That means you have no alibi! No alibi! <laughs> the culprit is self-evident. Alright. I think that I saw Fuyuhiko in one of those. The only person who doesn't have an alibi during the party is Fuyuhiko, but... Is he really the killer? Fahad! Thanks for being one of us for hey. five months. Gundam's Junibio is really cute. It's pretty great. I kind of love it. I kind of love it a lot. Ah. Was lurking under the floor like you could have stared at without going to the store. Is that true? Do not like I'm the. But when the party stopped, nobody saw you. That means you have no alibi. Oh. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I remember. You remember. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um. Oh, you're right. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, hey, uh, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh, <laughs> how diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Shut up! Sh shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. He's into it. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. And someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. Ooh. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I've overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again... Here's, we're getting close to the final stage. The Blackened or the Spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. It's so good. Fire door? I don't remember seeing that. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. He sounds like Yako. Is it really not possible? What if they use the string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. Okay, so we're gonna we're consenting with someone. Yeah, the killer's method for moving in the dark might be what one person suggested. If so, I might be able to prove it. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. It was really dark. 
moving to the storage room like that. Is that what's the fire door say? Fire door. If a fire breaks out, the fire door in the hallway of the old building can be shut to keep the fire from spreading. Was there a light on the fire door? I don't know. What about the kitchen equipment list? Because I know that's in our thing as well. Not including the equipment, all of the dangerous equipment that could be potentially a weapon was confiscated by Biakia. Apparently, there's an iron plate for barbecue and a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Oh. Oops. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? It's probably the kitchen. Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Oh, wait. Came from the supermarket. Supermarket. That's some supermarket, eh? Let's try it. Oh crap! Brandon, thanks for being one of us. Crap. All right. W what is it, chat? The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. Is that like making a seafood bowl without fish? <laughs> without fish? Really not what if they used a string? Maybe there was another pair of going to pain. I'm gonna go with what if they used a light? Oh my god, I got it. I agree with that. What was it? It was the equipment on the light. Uh, sorry, Sagasi. Nice. You, you were a little late. I don't know why. I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Yo, that food looks good, though. Sorry, Sagasi. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers. There's also an iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Damn, look at that meat bone over there. That, is, that meat is... It, it, I that, want to get right on that meat bone. On that meat bone. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. And this kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove! Is okay? Portable stove. Portable, portable stove! stove is powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. Ooh. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Huh? A hole. What oh. kind of hole? It would be great. Your fingers if you could away, Tara. Tara, put your fingers away. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. It's not a dirty joke. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Ooh. Say it again. Say it again. Will you be able to break through my argument? I battle. It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to lose against someone like him. Rebuttal showdown. Party dish. Use your knife to cut through those. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Advance! I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? Trainer the reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was Oops. walking near the hallway, right? Oopsies. It's true that any light source in the dark hallway would have stood out. But if the killer did have a light, the reason Kazuichi wouldn't have been able to see it The was... reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? 
Allow me to cut it through those words. I think it worked. I think it worked. Break. Fire doors usually have a light on them, so it makes sense. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> there should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Wouldn't peek out. Oh, I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? <laughs> who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? Take you sure like to breath. piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Ooh. Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. <laughs> More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it, no matter what it is. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Everyone around. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, what the oh, fuck? What am I thinking about? Yeah, I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as a cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark? And snuck under the floorboards to stab Yaki to death using a glowing paint as a mark? So the only killer I can think of is... You. And only you. It was... Cliffhanger Chan! Cliffhanger Chan! Oh no. I can't save here. Damn it. Damn it, I've done this before. What if I fail, though? I bet you if I fail. <laughs> oh, this. He did it. He did it. He absolutely did it. Crap! <laughs> yeah, perfect. It was a cliffhanger. It was a, a, a wow, what a good cliffhanger. I know, right? That's what killed Byakuya. A baru. But boom. So we'll finish this tomorrow and then we'll probably start uh the ultimate summer camp like right after. So get ready for it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Whoa, that's so many things that's to put so up on many the things. Tree. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the tree. Meat bone. Ahem, I believe you mean Bone meat. Bone meat! Oh, bone meat. My favorite bone meat. Thank you, everyone, for coming on this nostalgia journey with us. It was a lot of fun. I I really like these games. Yeah, they're great. They're really good. They get your brain a ticking. I'm not joking. I would like to play one Danganronpa a year. If, if only. If only we could. But we're going to be playing uh, something else after. So. Yeah. Put your, put your vote in for that. And we're going to be playing Shimagami Tensei at 3.30, which is in about an hour. Which is really exciting. I'm excited to continue this tomorrow. Thanks for being here. And Catherine. then summer mode? Yeah, summer ah. mode. Ah. Uh, yeah, and please note, Dongrob S will spoilers for all the games, even though it's a non-canon spinoff. Yeah. <laughs> Walking spoilers. There's big spoilers. Yeah. Uh, play DRV3 Trial 1 next year? Sure. <laughs> at the very least, I'll give you that. How about that? I binged the games and anime after finding out so many influencers, including you guys, and fans love them. Aww. It was painful, but now grown on me. <laughs> Spike! <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. That's awesome. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Yeah. Um, I have to go to the bathroom so yeah, bad. for sure. All right. I was like, can I make it? Can I make it? And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta make gotta it. Gotta make it. We'll see you guys soon. Okay, thank you, everyone. SMP5. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go peco peco that freaking bathroom. <laughs> Pain peco. Pain peco. Bye, love you. Bye.